guys and welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jacqueline Noel and I post videos every Wednesday on fashion, lifestyle, and beauty content. So if you're interested in those things, don't forget to like and comment on this video and subscribe to my channel. So I'll just say before we get started in this video, I am a little under the weather right now, so my voice is a little bit gone. So bear with me, you guys. But as you guys can tell by the title of today's video, we are going to be talking about some closet and wardrobe essentials. Now, we are in the middle of kind of switching seasons. I know it's officially spring, but here in the Midwest, as you can tell by what I'm wearing today, it is still kind of cold. So I thought this would be a great time to talk about some closet essentials that are great to have in your wardrobe, no matter the season. So today I'm gonna to be showing you guys five staple pieces in my wardrobe, um, featuring some pieces from a company called Mott & Bow. They very kindly gifted me with five pieces to show you guys today. And if you're not familiar with who Mott & Bow are, they are an elevated basics and denim company located in New York City. They have collections for both men and women, and they have many different items. You know, they have different types of denim from skinny jeans to other styles. They also have a wide range of different styles of t-shirts that come in several different colors. They have sweaters and they even have some outerwear pieces. And I'm so excited to show you guys how I integrate their elevated basics and denim staples into my wardrobe. So with that, let's get right into the video. So the first closet essential that I wanna share with you guys is a really, really great pair of denim. Denim is gonna serve you well across all seasons, no matter if it's the colder fall and winter months or if it's in the summertime because you can just pair them so easily with so many different outfits. So the first pair of jeans that I wanna show you guys are a darker pair of denim jeans and these are just gonna be a classic pair of skinny jeans. Um, these are a high-rise skinny jean. Again, these are from Mott & Bow, as you guys can see across the top with this very nice label. And I think that having a dark denim pair of skinny jeans is a great piece to have in your closet. For me, I like to use dark denim on those days when I'm going into the office in the spring and summer or to match with my darker pieces in the fall and winter. I also really like skinny jeans because they fit my body very well. Now, I know that straight leg jeans have been really in style lately and flare jeans. And while I do like to switch it up, I just feel that for my body type, you know, someone who's curvier on the bottom, a skinny jean just complements my body so well. So I did pick up these dark blue skinny jeans from Mott & Bow. I got these in a size 28, I believe, which translates to a US size 6, and they fit me absolutely perfect. Now I know, depending on your body type, denim can be very, very difficult to find in a size that fits you well. And I was very shocked and actually very happily surprised that these jeans fit me perfectly. You should see in the cutaway that these jeans hug my body in all the right places and they even have a little give in the waist so that they're not too tight and suffocating me, which I really love. Now, in terms of the material of these jeans, I believe that there's a tag on the inside. Let's see. Maybe not on the inside of these, but I have another pair of jeans that I will show you guys that does have a tag that details all of the materials. But like I said, I got these in a 28 and these are the high rise skinny jeans. Now again, skinny jeans are such a versatile pair of pants. Again, in the fall, winter, you can pair them with coats, you can pair them with sweaters. And then in the summertime, the way I like to wear my jeans is typically with a flowy top and some sandals, just because your denim is going to be covering all of your legs in the spring and summertime and the temperatures tend to be warmer. I like to open up my arms a little bit on the top and have my toes out. These are also a pair of jeans that you could easily translate from day to night. You could wear them to during the day to lunch, or like I said, to go into the office. Or you could pair these with a pair of maybe a pair of maybe some lighter colored high heels and dress it up for an evening out. So I definitely think having a great pair of denim in your closet is an essential. And because I love these so much, I actually picked them up in a second color. And I got the similar pair of high-rise skinny jeans from Mott & Bow in the black. And I got these also in a size 28 or a US size 6. This one does have a tag inside to tell you all about the, um, the materials. So these jeans are 30% cotton, 63% tensile, 5% polyester and 2% elastane. So something really great about having the elastane in these jeans is that they actually are a bit stretchy. So they will form fit to your body, which I really love. I have struggled to find good black jeans for several months. I haven't been able to find a pair that really fits me right. And I haven't been able to find a pair that doesn't fade in the washing machine. And now that I have these Mott & Bow jeans, I feel like I found the perfect wardrobe essential. Now I will say, for black jeans, these are typically jeans that I'd wear during the day, only in the fall and winter time, because I do like to wear a little bit more of a brighter color in the, in the spring and summer. But I definitely would take these out for a night out in the summertime or in the spring, just because it is darker outside so you can play on and kind of having those tones match each other. But I would probably keep these in the closet just for during the day. But that being said, I think you can still get tons of wear out of these again, wearing these from day to night, wearing them for casual versus dress up events. Having these two pairs of darker denim in your closet are a great clothing essential that you can build tons of outfits around. 
So the next two closet essentials that I'm gonna share with you guys are a piece of clothing that I find myself always in need of and always having to find more of because the ones that I have just are not the best quality and those are going to be t-shirts. So I picked up two t-shirts from Mott & Bow. The first one is going to be this fitted v-neck style in a kind of cream off-white color. As you guys can see, I got this in a size medium and I absolutely love this t-shirt. Now, white t-shirts for me are difficult to come by because one, finding good quality white t-shirts is pretty hard and two, I sweat a lot so my white t-shirts don't always last. And again, the quality of t-shirts that I find at some of the stores I shop at, they're just not the best, but I will say that the quality of this Mott & Bow t-shirt is absolutely amazing. The first thing that I noticed when I tried it on was just the softness of the shirt. It felt so nice against my body and just touching it with my hands. And I know that the feel of my clothing is really important to me. So having a white t-shirt in my closet that both feels nice and fits me well is definitely something that I can appreciate. Now, I will say I consider a white t-shirt or any good t-shirt to just be a clothing essential because I see it as a layering piece. So. You see just a plain white t-shirt here, but you can dress it up with a jacket or a blazer over it if you're looking for a more business casual type of look. You can pair this with some sweatpants for another casual airport type of look. You can dress it up with some heels and a nice bag and go out to dinner or out to lunch. There's so many things that you can build around a basic white t-shirt like this one from Mott & Bow. And I particularly like this one for the spring and summertime because of how light it is. You'll notice in the try on that I just tried this on with a nude bra underneath because it is just a little bit see through and I think that is because it's a lighter material that's best for the spring and summer but despite that I think that it's still a really high quality and great t-shirt and something super versatile to have in your wardrobe. And like I said I did pick up two of these so the other t-shirt that I picked up is actually a similar style just in a different color. So I got the same t-shirt in the medium size but this time I got it in a light gray color. Now, I don't have a lot of light gray in my wardrobe. Typically, this color is just with my sweatpants and maybe a couple of jackets that I may have, but I felt like this was also a really good closet essential to have, probably for my more casual outfits, or maybe more loungewear outfits. Now, you might say to yourself, why do you need closet essentials for loungewear? Well, I have been working from home for the last two years, like a lot of people have, and having good loungewear that I can also hop on camera on for a video call or a Zoom call is something that's pretty important to me. And again, if I need to run out and just run some errands, I can easily throw this shirt on and still look put together with some jewelry, a bag, and some accessories. So very, very much a fan of these t-shirts. I definitely consider them to be part of my closet essentials. So we reached the last item for my closet essentials, and that is going to be a very well-made and really high-quality pair of sweats or a really great sweatshirt. Now, you may be saying to yourself, a sweatshirt and sweats is not a closet essential, especially because it's warmer in the spring and summer. And that is true, you may not get as much wear out of your sweats in the spring and summertime, but for me, I still do consider them a closet essential. One, because I think some of my style is definitely more on the sporty but tailored look. Um, I like to wear leggings, I like to wear sweatsuits, and so when I do wear those things, I still do like to look put together like I actually put some effort into my outfit. So having high quality sweats is definitely important to me. And then on the other hand, I like to use my high quality sweats and sweatshirts for when I travel. So. Now that I'm older, you know, I do like to pull myself together a little bit more when I'm flying places or going to the airports. I won't say I'm going as far as like putting on a blazer and heels to get on the plane, but I would like to throw something on that is comfy, casual, but also very cute. And someone might say like, oh, she looks comfortable, but she definitely pulled that together really nicely. And so this piece is something I would consider an essential for that. I'm actually traveling at the end of this week and I'll probably wear this sweatshirt on the plane. So a little bit about this sweatshirt. I got this from Mott & Bow also, and I got this in a size small. This is an oversized sweatshirt. Now, I will say kind of one of my rules of thumb with sweats and some oversized clothing, because I do like it to look a little bit tailored, I typically will, send, will tend to size down if the website indicates that it is an oversized piece, just because I don't want my clothes to look too oversized to the point that it looks frumpy on me. Um, so that's why I got this one in a size small. And as you can see, it's also kind of that cream off-white color, and it's this great thick material. I believe that this uh, is, is a cotton sweatshirt. And as you can see also, it does have this very fine ribbing here on the sleeves, and it does have this elastic waistband on the bottom. Now, I think having an elastic waistband on the bottom of the sweatshirt, a nice thick one, definitely gives you that dimension to the sweatshirt because as we all know, sweats can make us look, like I said, kind of frumpy, but having that dimension on the waist definitely adds, um, can can show your body shape a little bit better. And like I said, I consider this one essential just because of the ways that I can wear it. I'd wear it for travel, I'd wear it for lounging around, I'd wear it to run errands. 
I would get a lot of wear out of sweats and I think that a lot of people also would get a lot of wear out of their sweats and Mott & Bow has amazing options for different types of sweats that you can invest in. Like I said, I got this one in the cream, but I believe that they also have this sweater in the black. Not sure if they have matching sweatpants for this, but if they do, I'll definitely link those items down below. But this is the last item in my closet essentials list. All right, you guys, so that is it for my closet essentials. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and got some tips and tricks for some of the pieces that I showed. As you guys know, cost per wear for me is really important and I'd like to get as much use out of my pieces as possible. So that's why I do like to have some good staples across all seasons. If you're interested in any of the pieces I showed from Mott & Bow, they will be linked down below. And a special thank you to Mott & Bow for partnering with me on today's video. If you guys did like this video, don't forget to like and leave a comment as well as subscribe. And I'll see you guys next week.